Hey guys, it's Kane. So I do realize that I'm in the car here. I'm on my way home from a doctor's appointment. But my mom informed me about something on Facebook that really reminded me of my childhood. So this is probably completely not relevant to any of you guys at all. You guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But I'm just gonna give you guys a little information. So back in 1990, which is way before your guys' time, even before my time, a, a group of friends, one of them named Penny Andrist, had developed a children's song um, group, kind of like an educational type thing. And apparently, what I read from an article on Facebook that my mom sent me was that she had worked with kids with learning disabilities and made these songs. Like she had done a couple about the alphabet. She did a seatbelt safety one um, that I remember watching in elementary school. Um, Penny had actually come down to the county fair when I was like eight or nine or ten or something like that when I lived in Beulah and did some kind of performance and her group I guess you'd call it was called Penny and Pals well according to a source in Fargo North Dakota over the course of her 33 year music and entertainment career she's doing her last performance tonight at 5 p.m. Central in Fargo so I may not, I'm I'm all the way on the other side of North Dakota so I won't be able to even make that but what I read on the article is that far the Fargo news source is actually expecting most people most mostly adults coming to that that performance because they grew up with that and they the now adults will bring their children to kind of share the share the uh, their childhood with them so this video here is just a short announcement that I'm going to cross post meaning that I'm going to put it all over my social media and I doubt anyone's gonna say anything but I'll just say it in spirit to Penny thank you for giving me a good childhood I, I, I remember a lot of the music videos that were on um a uh, DVD that I, I had gotten from the fair and some of the songs from that music video or from that DVD I still get stuck in my head to this day and this was like this was like 15 years ago or something like that or not even 15 years ago but those songs have been literally etched in my brain I remember them so well my favorite is actually, it's called Yibberish. And yeah, I I just can't get over those songs. In fact, my dad and I were actually listening to some of the songs that were from 1990 because they're on Apple Music. Because I, ever since my mom sent me this announcement on Facebook, which apparently was this morning, I didn't get it until um, this afternoon, I honestly, I honestly wish I would have been able to make that performance just, just for the heck of it. But all I want to say is congratulations on 33 years of success and congratulations on your quote unquote retirement from the music and entertainment industry. You guys, or you and your uh, 
colleagues have really made my childhood and I imagine a whole bunch of other people's childhoods amazing. And I mean that. Like like I said, a bunch of those songs that, that were from 1990 are literally etched in my brain. Like, I, I can't get them out. It's just, like, they're stuck in there. So, I just want to say congratulations. Best of luck to you on your future endeavors, whatever they may be. And rock on like rock and robot. All right, that's it, you guys. See you next time.